Hi guys, so this is a brush practice really freaking fast. I start with straight lines and trying to do them parallel and not touching. And then I start doing angled uh, cross hatching with it, straight and angled. I usually start with straights, but then I move on to a more flickering kind of line. So you pressure and flicker, so you get thickness variation. You can also cross hatch like that, it gives a different effect. And what I notice is that the best way to do this is actually flickering your, your wrist. So then I do some squiggly lines and that is actually harder than it looks. The zigzag also, it's good to kind of go from large to small. Uh, then here I'm just still doing some like really quickly practices. Then I stroke my dog and watch her bum, which is really cute. And then I continue. So yeah, so th this uh, set of exercises is actually from a class that I'm taking. It's uh, by uh, Justine Mara Anderson at the Sequential Artists Workshop. And her work is really cool. Like she learned from people like Jeff Jones and some really like old school, awesome inkers. And one thing I discovered while doing this class is that uh, the cutting edge, uh, the metal cutting edge of a ruler like this, uh, it's really great with crow quills. It doesn't really touch the ground, so there's no uh, problem with smudging. So yeah, so then it's just building the textures. Um, the main exercise for this is just copying the swatches that Justine did. Um, it's a really cool class, like I really recommend it and it's quite affordable. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite cool because I've seen basic classes before, but I thought that her way of teaching was really, really great. So I totally recommend if anyone's interested in inking, inking with a brush because she exclusive, exclusively uh, inks with a brush, which is quite cool. It's hard to find, you know, someone that still does that. Uh, so yeah, it's awesome. And all her lectures were really cool as well. Like, she mentioned mostly all the artists that I admire, <laughs> from Muka to Harry Clark to really awesome, uh, more contemporary illustrators. So yeah, here um, also she asks us to do a variation of the pattern, so create our own. So I, I actually started with the one that I thought I was getting it best, even though I had a problem at the top and I tried to make something out of it. And the waves are actually harder as well than they look because to create this kind of wavy pattern, you have to put pressure and then lift off. So I actually cheated a bit on this one a ton. Like I redid my lines a couple of times and I rethickened some bits, which is probably not the best way to do this. But yeah, the main idea here is just to get that like depth effect, I think. Just like the thick to thin gives off this like uh, water detail going towards the horizon. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel this this texture here is quite spooky. <laughs> it always makes me feel of like dripping ceilings and maybe moldy walls. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's just like thick at the top and thins like straight after. Um, I tried to make something out of that one. Maybe I should have done like some kind of like wood or something. I don't know. But yeah, the top one oddly enough, is the one that I have the hardest time with because keeping kind of a consistent but at the same time fragmented um, texture for the hatching is actually hard, especially with a brush. I think like with ink uh, in a pen, it's kind of easier to get like even lines, but when you're doing a brush, a brush is so flexible and expressive that it's really easier to do like, you know, really organic lines. So yeah, that's it guys. It's a quickie. Thank you for watching and see you soon.